Good day, human Lanios Lights. This is Lanios Zubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sacred Gold Extreme Wedlock. Here we are in Pewter City. Since last time, we just jumped right into the action of the Kanto region. Also, we taught Phoebe Surf in, in order to get rid of Surf on Monica. Hopefully, that will work out to our advantage, because this time we have to battle a first gym leader, which is actually going to be a challenge for us, because... As we discovered last time, no pair on our team is ideal for this, because Carol has quad weakness to rock, and is the only one in this pair who has anything that's really going to be super effective, because of the Giga Drain, which any Steel type would just be bodied completely. Well, we'd be bodied by. Monica and Chandler, their stabs are both resisted by rock, not to mention Chandler's weakness to rock. Phoebe has a weakness to rock, but also rock has a weakness to Phoebe's uh, water typing. Ross, pretty much neutral all around with Rock, but still, this isn't going to be easy. So, here goes nothing. Ready for this, BB? Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on Rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Well, it's a good thing this pair is special. So here we go against the first member, the first gym leader of the Kanto region. Pewter City's Rock-type gym leader, Brock. Brock is going to lead off with Amistar. That is not good. Alright. Okay, what do we want to do? <laughs> what can we do? I mean, we don't have anything good for Amistar. I'm gonna go for a Surf. Let me get a flinch. It's gonna be neutral. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Flinch, please. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god. Phoebe, you are so awesome. A flinch from the Surf. Yes. Alright. Okay, you know what? I think at this point, I'm just gonna go for another surf just in case he's in the full restore. But yes! Oh my goodness, that. Okay, that 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 made my day. All right, next up, a pseudo wudo. Huh. Okay, I'm afraid of the sucker punch coming. On the other hand, could go for a for a rock throw, and that would be bad. Go for a surf. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's 30, but I don't, in fourth gen it really doesn't matter, so we should be able to take the thing down. So yeah, okay, Sudowoodo is down. Goodbye. Alright. Alright, next up is Relicant. Ooh. Um... I don't really have anything particular to be great for it. I mean, I can go for a Psychic, I suppose. That's an option. Cause I'm, I'm just afraid to leave, uh, to leave Baby out against this thing. Cause I don't think she's gonna get a, um, get a flinch with another Surf easily. So let's go for the Psychic. Hit Stab. Maybe we can get a flinch with the Psychic. Can we get a flinch? Give me a flinch. No. Oh. All right, Ross, somehow live this. Please, please live this. Please live this. Please live it. Please live Okay. Relicant's gonna go down from the recoil anyway. So, I mean, whether or not that really made a difference, uh, I mean, we probably could've just taken it down next turn anyway. The next up is Golem. BB does have that quiet, effective surf, so let's just go into that. But yeah, BB would not have taken a head smash, so... And, it's probably... Ooh, you're sucker punching! Oh my gosh, I'm glad I didn't stay in Frost there then. But seriously. Uh, Phoebe would have gone down to the head smash. So Brock has a lot of sturdy Pokemon, it seems like. Well, I guess because it's a rock trainer and all. But still, okay. Golem's gonna go down. Phoebe's gonna roll 61. Kabutops. 
I can't go into Ross at this point. I really can't. He, he's at way too, much, at too little health. So let's go for... I mean, I guess I have to go for a Surf. Can we get a flinch here? Because I don't think it's going to KO. Somehow KO, please. Yes, okay, it does KO. Kabutops is down. All right, next up is Onyx. All right. This, I mean, we do have a quad effect with it. Oh, it itches, it itches. What itches? Really, man, what itches? I mean, you should probably see a dermatologist about that. Okay, so we're gonna land the Surf. It's quad effect. He sashed! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. god. Why would you go for a Torment? Are you stupid? I mean, he's gonna go for a full restore here, so Ice Beam's only gonna be, it's, I mean, we can't go for a Surf because of the Torment, but Ice Beam is gonna only be, uh, Super effective, not quad effective, but it's not stab. Hey, that killed? Okay. I mean, I guess because it was sashed, but still. Looks like you're the stronger one. It looks like we are. So, with that, we defeated Brock. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You, you're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. So, with that, we received the Boulder badge from Brock. I really enjoyed the battle with you, Ladizul. I'll give you the move Rock Slide, too. It can cause your foe to flinch sometimes. So, TM80. The world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger, too. Here, take my number. We can have a rematch sometime. So with that, we registered Brock in the Poke Gear. But that was... That was a battle, it just, it, it definitely happened. So, another, please. All right, you know what, let's just go back to Route 26 to heal up, just so I can get back power points, not just use up our items just to get back on um, hit points. But yeah, that was, that was an interesting battle. So, sometimes you just have to you have to think about when's a good time to switch out and when it's not. So, I suppose now we can move on to the next route. But what is it? Route 3 or route 4? I don't remember what... I think it's route 4. No, it's route 3. Well, 3 and 4, because Mount Moon separates. Oh dear. We have to pass Mount Moon, don't we? We have to battle with Silver, I think. I think. I mean, unless Dryano moved that to happen after you do something else. Either way, let's get our encounter for Route 3. Oh, great. You know what? Might as well just battle this guy and be done with it. So, we'll battle him and then... That's that. What is Cloister? In hindsight, I probably should have switched out. Let's go for an Air Slash, just because I believe it's neutral. We also have that chance of, oh, a better chance of flinching, I suppose. We're just KOing. Alright, I'll take it. Not complaining. Raichu. That I definitely want to switch out against. Let's not have BB die to a Raichu, because that is not good. <laughs> so, Psychic's gonna take this thing out. Ross is gonna grow up to level 62. Maybe we should be using a different pair. Maybe. But, I mean, these two just... They, they just happen to... They just seem to be doing the, uh, the work. They're definitely putting in the work. And for that, I mean, that definitely does count for something. Please don't show me effects score. Thank you. So with that, we defeat a youngster, Jimmy. Alright. 
your fashion policy is wearing shorts. What is it with youngsters and shorts? Seriously. Just because they're comfy and easy to wear doesn't mean you should wear them. Seriously. Okay, so our encounter for Route 3 is... I can't catch it because we, ac we actually just left the route. I know, I, I mean... I willfully left the route. I couldn't tell the difference when we did it back in under E critique, whatever routes th they were. But this, I legitimately left the route, went back to Pewter, and then came back here. So technically, it wouldn't be legal. So I can't catch the primate, which is unfortunate. But unfortunately, I messed up. So yeah, that's the rules. I mean. I intentionally left the route this time. I wasn't thinking, so it's my fault. I, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I guess I could break the rule, but I'm not going to. I mean, at this second, I, I don't need the primate, so if it was like something that I need, I legitimately needed, then maybe I would, okay. You're gonna bring up the sandstorm, but still, I think we can just, I think a surf should still be in. Well, if I better off going for Ice Beam, I'll just go for Surf. So yeah, rules will screw you over if you don't pay attention to them, I guess. If you're not paying close attention, things will... unfortunate things will happen. Kinda sad, really. Whatever, Phoebe's gonna go to level 62. Alright, and the Sandstorm is gonna hurt her, which is unfortunate, but... What can you do? Okay, Cliff Fable. Going to Ross. Does weather for Ross, or I mean, does Magic Art protect from weather, or is it just protect from like status? Because it says you can only get hurt by damage inflicting moves. Please, Clefable, just die from the sandstorm. Then, if you're going to be evasive like that. Oh yeah, we don't take damage from that. I'll just bite you. I'll waste my bites, whatever. Should finish you off, and it doesn't sandstorm well. Metron. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear. Metal claw. Oh, okay. I can live that easily. It's not stab, so it's not going to do anything to me. So yeah, that go fable. That go fable's going down. Ross isn't going to get hurt by the by the sandstorm thanks to the magic guard, and that is that. So you defeated hiker Bruce. All right. gonna heal these guys up just because just because leave it at that all right you're probably gonna have some fighting Pokemon so this is probably the right pair to use actually it really wouldn't matter if we use this pair or if we used um, well uh, Gunther and Carol Either way, I think we, pretty much, I think we have the advantage over fighting Pokemon, that is. Add a critical hit on top of that. Nice job, Phoebe. Okay. So, yeah, the, we, defeated, we defeated Manford. Okay. Really? I was trying to avoid that battle with the guy... Here, but instead, we're just going to be battling this guy instead. Oh dear god. 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 I don't have anything for a Magnezone. Get a flinch. KO, crit, or flinch. Something like, well, KO. Crit the KO or flinch. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you stupid? Is this guy just stupid or something? He could have just completely bodied Phoebe by going for a discharge and instead he goes for a magnet rise expecting an earthquake? What the heck? This guy should have, like, rock and ground type Pokemon. Instead he has steel. I mean, 
Fuel electric makes no sense for this guy. I mean, this is technically, I mean, steel ground, I think? So, whatever. We defeated Hi Hiker Dwight. Alright, we're gonna have a battle coming up against our rival, of course. So, let's actually make sure that we're... What did he lead off with again? I feel like I keep on forgetting what he leads off with. I mean, I think our best bet is probably Ross, even though... I mean, we can lead off with Phoebe, I guess, because she does have a more versatile move set. Let's do that. So here he is. Hey, Lotazul! You're here in Kanto too! Some of the trainers here are tough, which makes it easy to train my Pokémon. Lotazul, I know that you're strong, but I can't help but challenge you. So here we go against our rival, Silver. Okay. Hopefully we can handle this battle. He's leading off with Haunch Crow. Okay. Let's go for an Ice Beam. We're gonna outspeed. That's probably a good thing that we didn't go that we didn't start off with Ross actually. But still, KO, flinch, or freeze. I'll pick any. Okay, KO. Actually, I'd prefer to be either a flinch or a KO. I don't want to see the freeze because we can always default the next turn. Electivire! Yeah, I can't keep Phoebe in against that. I just can't. I I, I just can't. So. Wait a second, didn't he make it, like, electric fighting or something? So, I think we might actually be able to just one shot with Psychic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Electivire is down. Gengar. A little bit risky, but Gengar can body us with a ghost move. We can body it with a Psychic move, so... Battle isn't... Yeah, alright. So, we're gonna take down Gengar. That is kind of nice, I suppose. Okay, so next up is Alakazam. Oh, dear. I mean, I think our best bet is to leave Ross in, though. Just because. Let's just go for a bite. I want to get a flinch here. Come on. Shadow Ball. Okay, I need you to somehow live this, Ross. Somehow live this, somehow live it, somehow live it. Come on, come on. Yes, okay. We're gonna lower our special defense, but we're gonna land another bite, and that'll, that'll take out the Alakazam at this rate. Okay, so the Alakazam is down. All right, next up is Magmortar. Let's go into Phoebe, who does have the resistance to its stab and super effective hit to go with it. So, alright. Go for a Surf. Give me a KO or a Flinch, please. I mean, flinching the Amistar, seriously. That, that was just, with Surf. That was just so awesome. Alright, Phoebe's gonna grow to level 63. Alright, next up is Feraligator. I feel like it's gonna have crunch. I feel like it's gonna have crunch. I can't switch out. Please don't have Thunder Punch. I see, you weren't you weren't coming to Kanto just to show off. Okay. Go for an air slash. Can we just get a flinch here? I don't know if it'll KO, but we can possibly get a flinch. Oh, it was rock slide! Alright, it's not stab. Phoebe, you can live this somehow. You can live this somehow. Oh yeah, you can live this. I see you weren't playing around either. Okay, Air Slash, good, okay. For Alligator, you're going down to this. Come on, you're done. GG, Silver. Nice try. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. My training's still not- my training's still not enough. I'm good enough. My Pokémon are so weak, it makes me frustrated. 
but I can feel that they are getting better after each battle. They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. I know, I should take them to the dragons then. See you lot as all. Okay. By all means, do that. Mother, would you just stop it with the... Spending all of my money on stuff that I can't use. I know there are certain requirements that get certain items there, but... Still... You have to spend all my money on berries. Really? Alright. Now, we can get an encounter from Mount Moon, but I just don't see the point. Let's see, it's probably gonna end up being a Golbat anyway. No, it's actually a Clefairy. That's interesting. Let's go for a fly. As long as you don't metronome explosion. You're gonna set up a light screen. Couldn't set up reflect. If we were to set up a reflect, that would be fine because then our supply would be weakened, but that's pretty much the weakest move I can go for right now. Oh, okay. Meteor Mash. So you're a, you're a physical Clefairy. I oh, know, it's not doing anything. Obviously, you just have a physical move. Whatever. Let's go for a Pokeball. Can we catch you? Come on. Come on, you're in the yellow zone, so yeah, all right. With that, we caught a Clefairy. So, Clefairy's dad is being added, okay. Sure, let's name you. What to name you? But Ryan. So Ryan, you can go to the PC. All right. So here we are. Still on Mount Moon, though. Is there like a hidden item here? I feel like the, I feel like there should be. No, nothing. Okay. This is Mount Moon Square. Please don't let her put trash. Okay. Um. Wasn't there like different music here in like second generation? This one comes down. Clefairy come out to play. What can we? Oh, this is actually great. Okay. I'll spend all my money here. I'm fine with just, I don't think I need soda pop too much. I mean, lemony just does more for us. But this way, I'll spend all my money on this stuff. I mean, this is the most useful item, I think. At least some of the most useful items I can pretty much get. So you know what? Let's just buy a bunch of lemonade and fresh water. I don't think we're going to be needing much more after this. I think we can pretty much outspeed most wild Pokemon. So I don't think we need a Poke Doll. But... Unless there's... I don't know. We might need one at some point. I don't know. Should we get one? Yeah, whatever. I'll buy two of them just in case I ever need them to flee from a battle. Which I don't think is ever going to happen at this point. But you never know. Also, there's something in that trash can. I feel like I keep on going back and forth into here. Seriously. That, that, that was just bothering me. But a place where you can buy drinks is definitely appreciated. This is still Mount Moon. I can't get an encounter in the water, but that's fine. So let's head it, head out to Route Four. Also, since you're minus a little bit of health from that fairy, I don't really have a need to heal you up right this second because I don't think we have to battle all these people. They're just, they're gonna try battling us, but we can avoid that. Might as well see what our encounter would be here. So here's our encounter for Route 4. And it is, it's an Arbok. It's gonna lower my attack. So, I don't think Bite's gonna do enough to actually even bring you out of the yellow zone at this point. Alright, let's go for a power gem. 
Because, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be catching a level 47 Arbok unless it's in the yellow or red zone. Oh well, I actually survived. But is Swallow and Spit Hop? Is that really the moose? <laughs> Whatever. We can catch it, we can catch it. If we can't catch it, we can't. And with that, we caught an Arbok. So, you really don't know how to do anything, do you? Alright, you can be... Ursula. Oops, isn't it with a... I think it's a U? Yeah. Ursula. Okay. Go to the PC. And with that, here we are in Cerulean City. My Slowbro and I make an awesome combination. Slowbro, show me your psychic. Yeah, so with that, I guess we are here. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some story stuff we have to do, of course. So. Let's actually heal up for um, first. Just because we took some damage from that battle with Silver, as well as, at least PowerPoint wise, and some a little bit of damage along the way afterward, holding off too, too much. Fought some Pokemon. Battled Brock. So, I mean, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get to Misty next time, but we definitely are getting on our way through here. I mean, the Kanto stuff usually moves kind of quickly. I mean, in the Soul Silver Extreme Lock, I, I think it was, what was it? Didn't I, like, get through, like, a gym per episode or something like that? Go back to Cerulean. Now, of course, we are going to have to go all the way to the power plant, take care of all that stuff before Misty will actually show up in her gym. But still... You know what, let's do that, I think. Let's see what this item is, since it's probably going to battle that girl either way. I might as well get the max potion out of it. Oh wow, we didn't have to battle her. What do you know? I have to battle you. Yeah, you I have to battle. Her I didn't have to battle. So... Oh dear god, please tell me we don't have to go through a rock tunnel. Oh, we're probably gonna have to go through a rock tunnel. Okay, I'm no longer in such a great mood. I, I, I... One of the things I really liked about Kanto post game of, of the Johto games was the fact that you don't have to go through Rock Tunnel. Now, most of you who have been watching my channel for a while probably know by now I am not a big fan of Rock Tunnel. Mostly because I don't like going around in the dark. And more so than that, I don't like running Flash on a Pokemon during an LP. I mean, Flash is okay-ish if you, I don't know, if you like lowering accuracy, but I don't like wasting a move slot, oh, a, a slot in the Pokemon's move set for the accuracy move. I mean, especially if you can't, re if you can't lose it. I have no need for power swap. I have, all right, Venom off. All right, uh... Let's just stay in. I think, what is it? Like, Bug Psychic, I think? Bite it. Whatever. Whatever. Can we just get a flinch, please? Just give me a flinch. No, you're gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. I don't think it's gonna one-shot, because it's not Stab. Even if you poison me, it's not even... Actually, it's probably gonna matter outside of battle. Because I don't think that 
magic guard protects from outside of battle damage, which is really stupid, but still. Alright, you know what, Ross, I'm really sorry about this, but I'm gonna have to actually find out for sure. Yeah. So, Magic Guard does not help you outside a battle, only during the battle. Alright, but you know what? We have 229 lemonades. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went kind of crazy there. But, that said, let's actually use a fresh water on you. So we're gonna have to go this way. You know, we might as well just see what our encounter is here. So our encounter for root, whatever this is, I think it's. All right, you know what? Let's just go for a power jam on this thing because I don't feel like getting poisoned. I don't, I, I, I don't think it'll KO, but... It's gonna live. You crunch. And you get the defense drop. Ugh. Is it worth the Nitto Queen? Is it worth the Nitto Queen? I mean, I suppose it's... It, Let's just go for it. Okay, and with that, we're gonna catch a Knit Arena. Okay. I can live with that. I'm sure I'll name you... What like Estelle. All right, you can go to the PC. And Mother just keeps on calling us to... You know what, I should probably... Maybe she didn't buy us more stuff. Maybe she just went to the... Okay, you know what, we're probably gonna get into a bunch of battles in the water, so... Use a repel. She probably just bought something a while ago and we just haven't picked it up yet. It seems like the more likely... Oh, we're in Route 10 now. You know what, might as well see what our encounter is for Route 10. I waste the super repel. Great. Come on, this has been 250 steps, um, 200 steps. Yeah, something like that. Come on. Okay, good. Repel, we're off. So our encounter for Route 10 is... Fiero. Alright, biting is not going to do enough. Power gem is super effect. Oh, I should have gone for Psy Beam. Oops. I mean, th this shouldn't KO it. No, it definitely will. Okay. Um, yeah, I should have gone for Psy Beam. On the other hand, this stab. So, yeah, okay. We don't get an encounter here. So they got the power plant up and running, and now it's like operating the magnet train or whatever. I, I, I'm ready to blast something. Who would dare steal a part from the generator? I spent so much time fixing it. If I catch him, I'm gonna see what I can do with my charge beam. That sounds painful. Quagsire for Porygon 2. Mmm. Not a bad train, I suppose but I don't have a Quagsire to offer you, and I kind of like Quagsire anyway. You just got word from Cerulean, it appears a, sh uh, a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask for your cooperation? The shady character has been hanging around Cerulean Gym. Well. Okay, I suppose we can cooperate. Let's go back to Cerulean. Maybe we can pedal Misty next time, if we can get all this stuff done now. The episode's probably gonna be a little bit longer then, but hey, whatever. Whatever gets stuff done, I suppose. 
I mean, it's not like I'm in any rush or anything to do all this stuff, but, I mean, whatever. Whoa, bump. Oops, I'm so sorry. You're not hurt. Okay, I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good um, if me seen by somebody. Oh no, you see me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me. Okay, you seen, heard, know nothing. Okay, bye. Bye bye, a go go. So apparently he stole a part or something. Um. You know what? Let's go swimming in the pool. There's gotta be a park somewhere here. Where is it? Could always just ask him. I mean, is it possible? I feel like it's possible to get it before it tells you where it is, but. Oh, whatever. I'll just. I'll find that guy, don't worry. <laughs> You didn't go that far off. The only thing is, I don't feel like going all the way up to the next route without going... Well, I guess we can just get our Route 24 encounter. Well, now. So, Route 24. <laughs> Who are you? Who's this guy in black coming between me and my girlfriend? Good question. Who is that? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, here's the deal. This does not count as Route 25, because Route 20, it's impossible to get to Route 24 without getting to Route 25. So I'm gonna go back to Route 25 afterward. All right, it's a Pidgeotto. I'm pretty sure that we have a Pidgey. Actually, I don't think we do. No, we don't, I just messed up, okay. Yeah, that's what happens when I have so many encounters, and so many LPs, and we're not on Route 25. I give up. I give up. We don't get an encounter for either route. Oh no! I think I was, but you did and me found in no time. Me only one from another country. Yet, yeah, no big business, okay? Think I did, if stop the energy. Be big panic and unlucky for me here, people. Secret is my mission, so tell me you not. But if you win, you do versus me. A man I be in mind secret to tell you. You understand? Battle begin we do. Sounds like Yoda if Yoda was illiterate. Okay, so Team Rocket Grunt is gonna go with a Crobat. We're just gonna go into Ross. We can just go for a Psychic. Whatever. That, that Crobat's not living. I mean, unless you're Sash, you're not living. I already screwed up too much, I think, for right now. Messing up getting that encounter with a Pidgeotto because I have gone through so many LPs getting Pidgeys, I forget when I get stuff. I no 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 believe I can't. Strong very much um B, so match I am with you or something. Okay, tell you my secret I will. Machine parts steal by me. Hi, I didn't Jim and Cerulean. Near inflatable too, but I I did. Look for Jim at, but you forget me not. Beat you for sure will Team Rocket. Come from Johto they will. Mine allies, yes, will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket bye bye a go go? Broken up it is, you say? Oh no, should I should I do what now on me from me? Okay, I go home I'm country to my home. Make Team Rocket I will. Goodbye, so long. Weird guy. Alright. So Technically, we shouldn't get an encounter from Route 25, and the, route from, the one from 24, I suppose, wasn't 
technically wouldn't technically be legal, so whatever. I, I really don't know. We're not getting encounters from either route. Your inflatable tube. That is not good instructions. I guess it was impossible to get this beforehand. I already checked here. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. We have a machine part. Well. Uh, you know what? I couldn't say if we're going to end up taking on Misty next time, but... You know what, let's actually just do this, and then we'll just do Nugget Bridge next time, or the sequel to Nugget Bridge, since it's not technically on the bridge. So, let's go back this way. Here we go. We're surfing across the sea. I was about to use a repel, and I run into a Goldeen! Great. Just great. Alright. I will use a repel, though, because... Well, that just seems like the thing to do. And from now on, at least we know that when I'm going to go buying... Actually, I'm not going to need to buy fresh waters and lemonades at this point, probably ever again. But should I ever have the need to do that, we can just go to Mount Moon Square, because there you can buy them from a person, so you can buy more than one at once, instead of having to use a vending machine again and again and again. Oh yeah! The thing you have! Is that the machine- is that the part that was stolen from the, my beloved generator? You found it, thank you so much! Now all I have to do is attach this part here- <coughs> Yes, it's running! <coughs> Waha, thanks! Here, go ahead and take this TM as a reward. So we obtained TM 57. Let me guess, charge beam? It will shoot beams that can also sometimes raise special attack. Hmm, we should take this too. It's a rare artifact, but it's no use to us here. So we obtained a red chain. My beloved generator, keep pumping the electricity out to provide a pleasant life for Kanto. So. I guess all's well, it ends well. That guy has his generator working fine, and we are gonna head to Cerulean City, because next time we're gonna take on the Nugget Bridge people, whatever. And if we have time, I guess we might get to Misty. I don't know if we are, though. But seriously, we did a lot today. You know what, if it'll get Mother to stop calling, I'm gonna go pick up the stuff she bought. Oka berries. If I could use berries, that would be... that might be useful on something with a quad weakness to fire. I emphasize the word might. So many berries on... Ugh. Just stop it with the berries, give me something useful. No further pack. Yeah, everything is just a berry. I think the bicycle shop is closed or something like that. Oh, we're off. A long time ago, this cool boy rode on my bike around, and that started this entire bike boom. Then I decided to open a branch at Goldenrod City, and they started selling like, like the wind. But no one comes to the shop anymore because of that. All I have left here is a bicycle pump. Should I start selling inflatable tubes? I don't know, maybe that'll make you some money. I mean, it's up to you, man. Up to you. So, we don't get an encounter from Roots 24 or 25, but we are gonna have to head there in order to get Misty to, you know, end her date and go to the gym. So, I mean, unless Andreano changed that, of course, which I don't think he did. So next time, we're gonna take on the Nugget Bridge people and possibly take on Misty, depending on timing. So, 
Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.